Hi, Greg Bruns here with another useful technical tip for you. Today I want to talk about using your ohm meter and using it to measure actual ohm value versus continuity. Especially when we're talking about 24 volt switching circuits. Now that switching circuit may be your thermostat circuit, it may be the 24 volt circuit in a gas furnace, it may be a 24 volt circuit in a heat pump or an air conditioner. High resistance in a 24 volt switching circuit is going to create significant voltage drop and that 24 volt load may or may not function. Let me give you an example here. So I got a G7 two stage furnace. One of the 24 volt switching circuits I'd be talking about would be your limit circuit. So on this furnace, down on the bottom one the blower compartment is where our limit circuit is fed from on a blue wire up through all the limits in the furnace and there's two limits on the blower there's a limit on the inducer, there's a main air limit and your rollout limit. So you got five limit switches there. So you got five switches in series powered from the blower compartment through all the limits back up to the blue wire in this 12 pin plug. That circuitry is actually in series with the gas valve which is your 24 volt load. And if you have high resistance in that circuit, it's gonna create significant voltage drop and maybe keep that gas valve from functioning. So it's a real simple test you can do to test the circuit. One, with the power off, you can unplug the 12 pin plug. We can unplug this blue wire off of the blower control board where the limit circuit's being fed from. You turn our ohm meter to ohms and we set our meter up here to go from this blue wire to the blue wire in this 12 pin plug. And I can tell you this furnace does have a bad limit in it. And as you can see from my meter here, I've got 50 ohms of resistance across that limit circuit. That's entirely too high. In a switching circuit, you really should have close to zero ohms. I mean, if you have five limits in series, such as you hear on this furnace, you may get a little resistance. So you might get two ohms, 2.5 ohms, and it might even only be 1.5 ohms. But you definitely shouldn't have 50 ohms of resistance when the wire just goes from the blower compartment through five limits and up to this board. If you just measured continuity, that meter would tone and you'd say, okay, there's nothing wrong with the limit circuit. But as I just showed you, there is something wrong with that limit circuit and 50 ohms will uh, create significant voltage drop. So one thing I also want you to keep in mind is that 50 ohms, you will not get the open limit code on this furnace. The circuit board will not give you the open limit code because the circuit's not open. It's got 50 ohms. So again, measuring just continuity, you're going to think it's good when it's not. 50 ohms is too high resistance. It's not going to give you open limit code, but it is going to um, create significant voltage drop and keep that gas valve from functioning. So I hope you found this tech tip useful. Keep tuning in to edgetechhvac.com for more useful tips.